and not yet 18 to give us advanced applications so that unki applications ko hum apne paas rakhe process karke aur jaise hi wo 18 saal ke ho unko hum voter list voter card de de sath mein ek welcome kit de de so you would be happy to know that approximately 10000 youths have registered with us in these three states who are between 17 to 18 years. So these uh, three states, 62.8 lakh voters combinedly are uh, ready to go to vote and we request all of them to participate in the elections ethically, freely and in large and large numbers. If we come to the polling stations accordingly, how do we conduct this in how many polling stations? The total number of polling stations, a state-wise list is here to you, the bifurcation, which you can use, which they will, we will put it on, the, uh, on our website and, uh, and social media also, so that you can use these charts. 9,125 polling stations. And these are, these are 634 more than 2018. Because of the geography of these states, it's around 82% in the rural areas. And we have mandated that 50% of the polling stations would be uh, webcasted. In this case, the arrangements have been made for 73% uh, webcasting, webcasting of 73% polling stations across these three states. Friends, uh, we are, our emphasis now after I covered the role part of it, so now from role to poll, so as, as I mentioned earlier also our uh, basic contact with the voters is twofold. At the time of registering them, that is uh, getting entry into the role and then at the time of polling. So role I mentioned recently just in the briefing. The polling part I will mention now. How do we make their polling easy and a, democrat and, and, and a kind of a festival? So in these uh, states, there would be 376 polling stations which would just be managed by our women uh, officers including the women police personnel. So entire booth including the security would be managed by the women staff. And similarly, PWDs which manage the, staff, uh, the polling stations and there would be model polling stations which would also have some kind of environmental friendly uh, material used inside. And modern polling stations are very proud of people doing good work. They are making a crutch on some of them. So that the Mahila Maddata comes with the children with the children, they also feel a very kind of a uh, congenial environment to vote. As you might recall, we have also started a practice to encourage our youth who are not so much into, there is some kind of youth apathy which we are struggling with. So, we have our young employees who have been recruited in Gujarat and Himachal. Now, we have to do this. 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 Needless to say that in all the polling stations, we will have 100% assured minimum facilities, which include all of them are ground floor. There would be ramp, there would be accessible, there would be water, there would be electricity, there would be toilet and there would be a volunteer to help our uh, PWD voters and also our senior citizens. Again, needless to say that if somebody has uh, by chance does not have EPIC card, any of these 12 uh, documents can be used. We are just showing it to you so that you can uh, popularize them, put them on, on, on through your mediums also. As usual, we would like to again mention you that we salute our heroes of democracy. These are our 80 plus and 100 plus voters. And to give you a glimpse of uh, the beautiful states of Tirpura, Meghalaya and Nagaland, these are our old voters, very respected voters, very happy voters. It's a very happy feeling to talk to them whenever we go. And the form 12D would be available to them in these three states also from the fifth day onwards after nomination. And as usual, our entire team will go and uh, take their boat with a full security in which the polling parties will go and the polling agents of the candidates would also be allowed to accompany. Again, 
this would be applicable to 2600, 100 plus uh, of our uh, centenarian voters. The, candi the candidates or their agents would all go together, uh, can go accompany to the house of the voter so that there is no allegation of any compromise. Uh, just to mention here, uh, fake news thoda felane wale bhi nai nai tarike dhoonte hain. तो अभी पिछले इलेक्शन में एक एक्सपीरियंस आया था कि किसी ने कहा एक कमरे में बूथ बना के और एक वीडियो चलाई कि ये वोटर्स को ओल्ड एज के कंप्रोमाइज़ हो गया वोट कोई और डाल रहा है तो इंक्वायरी कराई तो पता लगा कि वो तो कोई और जगह थी तो हमने इसके लिए एक नया और रास्ता निकाला है वो जैसे जैसे नए तरीके ढूंढते हैं हम भी काउंटर करते हैं तो हमारा तरीका निकाला है कि जो भी घर में जाएंगे अब जो पोलिंग कंपार्टमेंट सेट करेंगे उसमें असम्बली नंबर भी लिखा रहेगा स्टीकर के रूप में सो so दैट कोई अगर फेक चलाने की कोशिश भी करता है तो एटलीस्ट वो एक ही जगह का होगा पूरे उसमें तो हमें मालूम ही नहीं हुआ कि किस कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी uh, uh, की बात कर रहे हैं सो नाउ दी कॉन्स्टिट्यूंसी नंबर एंड बूथ नंबर विल ऑल्सो बी पेस्टेड ऑन दी कंपार्टमेंट सो दैट वी आर श्योर दैट देर इज नो फेकनेस इन टू दिस इफ एट ऑल देर इज ए फोटो सो दे वुड बी ए स्टीकर अटैच टू दिस फ्रेंड्स दे वुड बी थर्टी वन थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड पी डब्ल्यू डी वोटर्स and these uh, as i mentioned they also have the same facility ramps are being constructed and another thing which we want to report to you we are making another effort the drinking water electricity ramp why not get them permanently in these schools through the medium of our elections so we are insisting everywhere that please do not create temporary facilities to the extent possible in any case let this be a gift to the schools from the election process that they get separate toilets for boys and girls electricity furniture and the ramp for the students who could be otherwise suffering having any kind of disability so budgets are being sanctioned by all the states and we have been promised that they will try and get the uh, permanent structures to the extent possible so that we don't review all the time and we guarantee that all our uh, polling stations the schools are now uh, pwd friendly with electricity and with toilets uh, the commission has also as you know provided the saksham app they can uh, book any facility which they want from the volunteers to the uh, to the uh, tricycle or whatever they want wheelchair That can also be made available. Uh, Delhi में बैठ के हम लोग जब elections की बात करते हैं तो एक different picture नजर में आती है तो in this uh, presentation and to make it little more uh, grounded, we are trying to show you how it looks uh, where the elections are going to happen and how tough it is, how different it is from our uh, perspective, perspective, how difficult it is to conduct election in these states for the personals. who are involved in this you would see the polling station on the slide here this is at the top of a foothill called the mount uh, saramati in uh, nagaland and you can imagine how difficult would it be for the polling parties to go the second one which you are seeing is very interesting this is on the uh, border of myanmar and the line the division line passes through the house of the head of the village so his house is half this side half this side so that's the interesting picture we thought we'll show you to make it little more um, visually appealing to you how they conduct elections in places like meghalaya please see how difficult it is there somewhere there are temporary booths temporary bridges of bamboo which are made i'll show you a small video how do they walk this time look at the next slide in which uh, uh, polling stations and families in tirpura this is from tirpura half them going by a uh, kind of uh, boats and into the inhabited uh, less habited inaccessible islands also so friends imagine the uh, blos the polling personnel who go and Uh, get involved in this activity forests 
uh, tough terrains, uh, the bridges which are temporary, hill areas. And what happens? They actually deserve our uh, appreciation. So this is what I wanted to brief and show you this. <laughs> Friends, just to uh, take you a little back, in last two years we have had assembly elections to 13 states, starting from Bihar, Bihar during the pandemic to the last in Himachal and Gujarat. There were 6.46 lakh polling stations. I would be grateful if you can convey this. 6.46 lakh polling stations and minimum on each station there are three units of the EVM which is uh, ballot unit uh, which is the VV pad and which is the CPU. Of all these 6.46 lakhs polling stations, many of which are as tough as this. And I'll tell you how they are tough. Now you have seen this video that there was a rope way for a vyakti ko laya ja raha tha. Usko heart ki problem ho gai, he was a personal employee, uh, he was a polling officer. Usko lana mushkil ho gaya. Aur ek jage aapne dekha gaadi nahi nikali ja rahi thi. Exactly in these 13 elections, only four incidents happened, which are day and night on TV. Day and night. In Assam, when at night, at 10 or 11 o'clock, the rain came in the other private car. It was a, uh, it was a violation of the protocol, no doubt. But I am just trying to tell you the scale out of 6.46 lakhs, only four. One was in Tamil Nadu, where somebody came on a scooter in a hurry to deposit the machines. One was in West Bengal and one was in UP. That's all. And imagine what happens whole day. The, uh, because I understand it gets more TRP, but it whole day these is shown. And the employees, when we talk to them, believe me, it's very painful for them. They say that 6.46 lakhs minus 4 are just forgotten how much work they have done. So just to sensitize you, nothing more. Uh, coming to the informed voting, uh, this is our uh, KYC app. All the citizenry can know about the candidates, their criminal background. This is about the C vigil, I'm sorry. The, uh, the uh, vigilant citizens, they can make any complaints. And all these details in detail, we have given in each of these states so that Voters in those three states of Tirpura, Meghalaya and Nagaland can use this. And believe me, it is helping us. You remember in the recently held elections, we confiscated goods close to uh, how much around 900 crores as against 40, 50 crores of the last 2018 elections in Himachal and Gujarat. Large part of it was helpful to us. And repeatedly telling through the medium of the press, our friends, it helps us to ensure that the elections are free and the inducement free. Uh, we will also deploy observers in these three states, 64 expenditure observers. We have identified uh, ma, uh, expenditure sensitive constituencies. In some states, they are more. In the out of these three, in some states, they are more. Because each state is different. Each state's context is different. We will also have 69 general observers and we will have 33 police observers in these places. And large number of instructions have been given to enforcement agencies to curb the flow of cash. 
to asking banks to keep a watch on the accounts, also asking them again uh, the use of money also people are becoming smarter. In last uh, time we came to a situation where the bank account is used to transfer money through the ballots or something to the large number of voters. We have asked banks to keep a watch on this. We will monitor uh, the ballots, we will monitor the payments through elect electronic means and we will also monitor the withdrawal of used cash or deposits of used cash in any account in these three states and also wherever elections are held. We have also directed the Narcotics uh, Bureau and the state excise to very, very strictly look for drugs because this, uh, not in this area, otherwise also you saw it in Bengal, you saw it in uh, Punjab and uh, uh, Gujarat also, last elections, large number of seizures were made. So, drugs also we have very, very strictly said. So, in nutshell, our paramilitary forces have already this time reached these three states and they are already involved in area domination and because of that, I am again happy to report, because of that, the incidents of violence so far are nil. And we are hopeful, we have told our DOs and, and citizens also want this uh, not to happen. They are also very much in favour and we have appealed to them while we were there that please help us by knowing any possibility through sea vigil or something, bring it to our notice so that we can get your help to curb it. Uh, model code of conduct will now come into force in these three states and uh, next if we can show you the schedule. Uh, the dates would be something like this. Uh, Tirpura, and we have taken the, uh, the, let me tell you first this, the date of issue of notification in case of uh, Tirpura would be January 21 and uh, last date of making nominations January 30. We will also put it on social media uh, account of ours immediately so that you can uh, take this, you can put it right now. So. If, if, if you want, it can be downloaded from our sweep uh, handle. Uh, Meghalaya and Nagaland would have it on 31st January and thereafter both of them have the poll together. The date of poll would be February 16th in case of Tirpura and February 27th. So, we are finishing uh, all the polling in the February 27th, February, within February itself. This is to take into account, to, to, this is taken into account that the examinations schedules are also taken into account and that children are not really disturbed by this to the extent possible. So, since most of the exams are by and large in March, we have tried to finish this in February itself and no polling station is in any school which is a CBSC related school whose uh, CBSC schedule has come. So, there is only one paper before this, but we have ensured that in no school uh, there is a CBSC center or a CBSC school. Uh, next, this is all the dates. We are also having by elections. There are by elections now whatever are the vacancies reported to us so far. We are all covering them and this is the tradition again we are starting not to wait. As soon as uh, there are vacancies we try and finish up though we can wait technically for six months, but we are finishing it keeping it update giving the electorate to have their uh, representatives. So, there is one AC each in Arunachal, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Tamil Nadu, two ACs in Maharashtra and one parliamentary constituency in Lakshdeep. The details would be available of these names of these constituencies and the schedule would be like this. They will go with the Meghalaya and Nagaland poll on the same day. That means the February 27th would be date of poll and January 20, January 31st being the date of notification. Thank you friends. Again through you, uh, I want to appeal to all the voters to come forward participate in uh, the large number and strengthen the democracy, deepen it further. And through the media, I am sure all this will reach them and media this time would also be 
from uh, far more receptive to showing uh, some good stories of the election. There are large number of good stories which are being produced. We have also taken on ourselves. We have asked the DOs to please document those success stories. Please document. So they are also in the process. I am sure they will also do that. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I would now invite all your questions. Kindly introduce.